Hi, I'm Prince Duntema, and we are the Legal Vigilantes. Hello, my fellows, and welcome to Prince Duntema. Now, last time, we did some stuff, and I cannot remember. What did we do? Yes, we went through the great tree and tried to, to take it back from the ex noughts who had stolen it because they are trying to find the second crystal star. Yeah, the second crystal star, the green one. Ooh, it's green. Very magical indeed. I, <laughs> I played this episode already, but of course I forgot to turn my microphone on. And thank god I made a save state before, you know, at this point. Otherwise, I would have to either... Skip that episode entirely, play it again, play the entire game again just to get to that point, or do commentary on it, and, well, I'm not the best at commentary. Oh, there's Lord Crump. What's he doing? He's walking back and forth. <clears throat> Let me see, that thing's gotta be around here somewhere. Uh, but, uh, what's that? Well, sounds like a mob, I better clear out. Yeah, I've got, uh... Giant mob of 101 punies. And the Mario and the uh, Madame Fleury. But now we are meant to find the second crystal star. And I have no idea where it is because it's my first time playing this part of the game. I mean, there is nowhere for me to go. Ooh, the center of this room looks pretty weird. Oh, there's a slot here. Oh, an exclamation point. I guess we could put the puny orb in here. Oh my lord. I'm taking the mic, obviously. I know exactly what's going to happen. And there we go. The second crystal star. End of chapter two. Oh dear me, Mario, isn't that the crystal star? Yes, it is. <gasps> he took it! Oh dear, that wretched beast again, deary me. <laughs> Man, am I lucky or what? Or am I just too good? Oh, you say you need a crystal star, Lord Crump? Boom! Falls right in my lap. Still, this is humiliating. You shouldn't be able to escape that cell. So, for insulting my awesome trap, I'm gonna repay you with a little present. You know what it is? You know what it is? <gasps> He's got a big red button. I'm um, just something that, a little something I like to call a remote time bomb detonator. And we have 12 minutes to get out of here. I'm gonna use this to bury you and those squirmy punies in rubble. Sound fun? Well, enjoy your final minutes inside this dank old tree. And with that, pow, I'm gone. Five minutes, we have five minutes. Come on. There's no time to talk, Madam Fleury. Oh, of course, we gotta. Uh, don't do that, Mario, don't. No, no ground pounding. I keep forgetting I can do that. Okay. Okay. Oh, god damn it. I forgot about this. We can't run, can we? Nope, we can't flee this battle. Oh, and my controller is. Oh no. Uh. This is no time for you to, to act up. Come on. The literal worst possible time for this to happen. Okay. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Drink that potion really fast. No, you don't. Oh, yes, we got the six star points. No time for that, Mario. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm skipping a waste of time. Yes, you are. So we, uh, blip, uh, through. Let's go. Please. So it's up here. That is up here. Hi, how are you, uh, how are you guys doing, by the way? I'm fearing for my life right now. It's like, this is time limit, I must panic. Even though it's just, you know, 
bunch of crickets and an Italian plumber. Oh, come on. Surely you know how to follow me. We got everyone? Alright, everyone's getting lost. I really feel like a a tour guide for, uh, uh, for a, like a bunch of middle schoolers. God, middle schoolers. I don't, I don't, I'm not American. I don't use the word middle school. It's primary school, I think. I don't know how American schools work. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 This is really intense, you know. This is more intense than whatever Tom Cruise has to do for Mission Impossible. Oh, you had to jump out of a plane with a cameraman who also has to jump out of a plane? Yeah, well, I had to play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Beat that, Tom Cruise. <laughs> New era of Tom right now. Tom last name. I'm not going to give up my last name. I'm not an idiot. And yes, I am actually called Tom. Okay, my question is... What if we... What if we just... Walk through? Will they realise? Yes, we have none of them. They will realise. God, they're smart, aren't they? I don't think they'd notice. Come on... Come on! Now, of course, that one... That one puny. That one goddamn puny. Come on, pop! Right, let's go. All 101 of you, let's go! Let's get to safety. Okay, I've got all of them. You won't be going in... You won't be going anywhere farther this way! What, are you nuts? Move it, you old geezer! What? Did you just call me an old geezer? What are you gonna have talking like that? You got no respect for it. I don't think my age has anything to do with my might. Even if it kills me, I won't let you through. I'm ready. Elder power, activate. Well, what's your what's your problem, Grandma? You got an ear hair tickling your brain or what? I've got 30 seconds. We can't. Stop complaining about your back, old woman. You guys... 21 seconds. Okay, you piss. One pummeling coming up with the extra fists. Metal fist, that is. Oh, what? He's got this, he's this that one button. He does a lot of things, doesn't it? Sets up the time bomb and then sets up this thing. Awake Magnus Von Grapple. Time for a technological thrashing. Enjoy. Let's go. Magnus Von Grapple. What kind of name is that? Sounds like something Elon Musk would name his kid. Except it uses uh, uh, words, letters in the English uh, lexicon. Because he's got, well, his kid has got like one letter in the English lexicon. I know Elon Musk is South African, but he's just taking the mic. You know, Z, A, eight, oh, sorry, two letters. There's Z and an A. Are you crying yet? Y yeah? Sorry, but this thing is an arm of tissues. Well, Magnus Von Grapple does that effect on people. Total weeping terror. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Check out the power in this bad boy. Mercy me, that metal colossus is incredible. And yet there's something rather odd about it. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Don't be careless. Okay, uh, Madam Flurry. Oh, give us the honey syrup. Thank you so much. Well, it's really raining out there. Okay, so, power smash his foot. Come on. Oh, yeah! Stylish move. Ouch, that hurt. So, mm, is there any, what about tactics? Um, no, there's nothing much we can do. So, anyways, how are you guys doing? I was a bit busy trying to, you know, not die. Here we come, suckers! Magnus Farm Punish! Ouch. I don't know why I tried to super guard. I don't know the timing on this. Okay, so... Oh, we can... If my controller comes back to life. Let's do Earth Tremor. Come on, come on, come on. How much damage can we do with this thing? I think it's quite a lot, but my memory does not serve me at all. Doesn't not doesn't serve me correct. It doesn't serve me at all.
It just does whatever the hell it wants. I remember useless things. I can remember a, f a made up formula. I remember a made up formula on, a f on the last original episode on a sci fi TV show. Set in Francolithic, Mixy Alabidium, Rixy Dixy Doxy Dexy Droxide. No, is it? Rixy Dixy Doxy Dexy Droxide, yeah. Oh, it ain't over yet. This is so awesome. Check out what else this guy can do. You're gonna love it. This might not work out too well for you. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. The fists. Fisticuffs. So what is this job? Attack by fist stomping enemies and spin jumping on enemies. I thought I'd go to the next enemy, so I got... And now I got confused. Okay, 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 okay. You did two damage. Well done, Madam Flurry. Oh, it worked. That's good. Ow. I, get, I keep on getting hit by lights. Oh, oh god. Ouch. I got hurt by sand. Well done, Mario. You're really good at your job if you can get hurt by sand. Oh! Come on. Let's get a triple star. Eeny, meeny, man. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't think we would. Oh, Merle, thank you very much. I was wondering when you'd come along. Please give us extra p attack damage. That'd be so absolutely awesomely epic. I didn't even read the text. I think I said the dam- the- 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 oh. We have increased the damage you will, uh, do. Or decrease the damage you'll take. It's either one of them. Come on, power smash, power smash. Two, three. Probably decrease the damage you take. I should do spin jump, I just realized. I, I only just realized that I should use spin jump because that actually does more damage. But we can't attack his foot, so. Alright, let's go. I don't know why I'm attacking his foot. I don't know if that's like the key here. Ugh. Ugh. Not good. Can't last. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. One, two, three. Stylish move. I don't think we'd get that. Come on, let's hit his foot again. You never know, maybe he'll die. Or maybe the robot will perish, I should say. Oh god, oh god, that does quite a bit of damage, doesn't it? We are screwed with a capital screw. Come on, come on, come on. Stylish. I got. Oh! Bleh, this could be the end. 30 star points. Well done, Mario. And by Mario, I mean me, because I am the one controlling Mario. It's not like I'm training a dog, is it? It's more like those in invisible leashes they had in the 80s. Not invisible leashes. The invisible dog on the end of a visible leash. No, Magnus von Grapple, how could we lose? Ugh. I'll remember this, losers. L um. Oh, Lord Crump summons us! Retreat, heads up, run away, wait up! And of course, one of them falls over. Just a cliche. Arousing success, Mario, how delightful. They're gone! This place can be can go back to being the peaceful place I remember. Oh, yeah. That can do it. It can happen like that. A rattler, Mario. You can have the Emerald Star, the Crystal Star that resided in this tree. I couldn't be bothered to give this character a voice, so I made it Professor Frankly without all of the sex without the Richard Nixon part. Or the Sean Connery. You got the Crystal Star! And you learn the special move Clock Out, and I still don't know what that does yet. Mario already does that. He's he's been clocked out for years. This has been a plumber since like 1983. 
lazy bus. And so after pummeling Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second crystal star. With the x knots gone, peace once per again prevailed through the great tree. The Boggly Woods echoed with the puny songs of joy. But this may not be the last our hero hears from the vile x knots They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. Why do all reporters speak like this? They have a kind of sing-songy voice where it goes up and then it eventually goes down again. It's like their own accent in their own country of news reporters. Is it because it gets the viewer's attention because they speak so f***ing weirdly? What? Say that again? You can't get in touch with Lord Crump? Uh, you're correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. Uh, sir Grodus, please allow me to enter. Let's make the let's make Lord Grodus a uh, German. I have a report, sir. The crystal star in the Bogley Wizard is apparently being taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Silence? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm, disturbing. This Mario character. I can't do a German accent. This Mario character, what kind of... Speak up, x not. What is the status of the other crystal stars? Let's just do my own accent, how about that? The made-up accent of x not here. I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other crystal stars. Unsuc unsuccessfully, sir. We know of three of them. Hockdale Castle. What is this accent now? This is just African. Let's try this again, shall we? We all knew... We knew of three of them. Hockdale Castle, Bogley Woods, the one we got in Rogueport. I... I can't do the voice. It's terrible. That means there are four crystal stars left out there. And we will... And we will have them. Keep looking so that Mario won't beat us to the punch. Uh, yes, sir. As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must. Listen up. I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. X-Not symbol. Or the X-Men symbol. Honestly, that's overused so much. You got the X-Men, the X-Force, now the X-Nots. Mario. Mario, I loathe you. I loathe you. Ole, I don't know what accent to give him now. The man of a thousand axe voices is just Lord Grodus. Uh, Mario, did you even read the mail I sent you? I wonder. Oh, you got left on Red Peach. What a surprise. I mean, you, you keep on getting kidnapped, Mario keeps on saving you, and you either give him a kiss on the nose or a cake. And now everyone thinks he's a simp. I wonder how. I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Will I never dance at the Mushroom Ball again? No, he will not. What will become of me? Hmm, doesn't seem to open. BS, it's... Oh. What did that tell you? Oh, is that text doing again? No, it was an instant custard factory that did that. What? Who do you think, Princess Peach? I got Paper Mario sticker star the other day. Uh, yesterday came in about like what, uh, early afternoon. I played it last night, and uh, what the f what have they done? Why did they change so much? It's like, give me a second. I'm gonna. I'm sorry, Tech, to um, not do your voice for a bit, but I'm just, I just have to record this, you know? And let's transfer to Paper Mario Sticker Star now, shall we? There we go. Now. What the hell is this? Hold on, let's try this. Why are the toads normal? They're just normal toads. What the hell's going on? Also, please explain this. The world map? Why? Why is that why is there a world map? Why? This is not this is not new Super Mario Bros. U. What the hell is this? Oh, check this out. Check this out. It's even worse. Watch this. Watch, watch, watch. 
It's hard to do this with one hand, you know. What is this? What are these? No, 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 no. Not just this. No, no, no. Watch, watch. Watch this. Watch this. Give me a second. Not only do we use cards. Not only, not only, not only. Not only. Oh, I didn't hit him properly. Yeah, not only that. Not only that. But watch this. Come on. They're really good hammers then. Come on. Watch this. No experience points. Oh, we got a card. That's that's amazing. You get no experience points. What's the point in having a Paper Mario game when you can't have experience points? What's the actual point? It defeats the purpose of Paper Mario. That's like having a normal mainstream Mario game, but he can't jump. You might as well just have Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Anyways, enough with enough of me complaining. Let's get back to our reg regularly scheduled program. Right. Let's get that out of my face. And go back to our regularly scheduled program. Because that was really just a commercial break, wasn't it? I'm trying to make a new intro as well. I don't know why I'm bringing that up, but... Just a little bit of talking before my controller actually works for once. And I, I took down the timer. Hello, Princess Peach. I am glad you came. That mail I sent to Mario, did it reach him all right? Uh, yes, I can confirm that Mario has received the mail. Why didn't you do that before? I don't know. Is that so? Well, good. So what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? Excuse me? Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. What did you expect, Princess Peach? He's like, oh, we're going to have someone do surveillance on you. <gasps> They're going to watch me. I I can ha handle surveillance, but watching me? Seeing what I'm talking about? Seeing if I'm doing anything that I shouldn't be doing? But it is odd. When you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How many C how my CPU would process imp impulses is inexplicable. Inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it? There's no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. Wanting to do something together, it's a part of love. I know it. What, King Bowser? Oh, of course, your um, short stack uh, plumber hero. But then again, you are, well, a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait, just wait just a minute. How am I supposed to... What am I supposed to do? How, you... You say you want to dance? It's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms or feet or moves. Just because I'm a computer doesn't mean I have moves. <laughs> Will this be an acceptable dance substitute? I love this part of the game. It's just so different. Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? Uh, 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 oh, all right, I guess. It's just so weird, this, and it's amazingly, it's amazingly weird. You don't really see this in a, in a, in a Mario game, so... I don't know what is about it, really, but I just love it. I must say, though, it's going to feel weird dancing with myself. Press the buttons as they display on the screen. I only dance with myself, because I don't want anyone to see how, how sh** I am. So, I have to dance by myself, too. Don't worry, Princess Peach, it's not... You're not alone. Well, you are alone, but... All... With a computer. I pressed it! Oh god, oh god, it's dying. Da, 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 be, ba, da, do, da, da. Beautiful. Amazing. Revolutionary. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just 
just a moment. Uh, fun? Is this impulse? I feel the concept known as fun. Tech, are you okay? Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keypad to send whatever message you want. Tap it, tap it, tap, tap, tap. Hey, dear Mario, hurry the fuck up. It is so boring down here. I'm finished, Tech. Could you send it? Dear Mario, please come to this underground bunker. Yours truly, Princess Peach. No, Princess Toadstool. Peach, the message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. The data that I thought was fun. You're a weird computer. No, you're mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. Doesn't mean you're not weird. Good night, Princess Peach. Just because something's perfect doesn't mean it's weird. Save all game. I mean the... Uh, what? I'm trying to m make an analogy, but I can't. Okay, back to Mario. No, wait, not back to Mario. <laughs> back to Bowser. Forgot about this guy. Pretty sure there's just up ahead here. Uh, right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got word that Princess Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good, yes, very good, and then I'm off. Those fools don't know what's coming. <laughs> My lord, you're so... super. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. This is great. Look at this. Watch this. Hmm. Hey, this seems awfully familiar. Hey, Goomba, you're not working, are you? Oh, meat. Just, uh, absolutely delicious. I remember eating a mushroom one time. By this weird guy named... Oh, God. That fell over. I feel so sad now. I must... I must quench my sadness with... Food. It replaces the hole in my, hole in my heart with cholesterol, you see. That's why I eat. But I remember eating a mushroom once by a guy named Fawful. Quite a weird guy, indeed. See, that mushroom made me inhale everything like I was some kind of vacuum cleaner. I wasn't King Bowser, I was King of the Vacuum Cleaners, Henry. Oh hey, welcome to Petalbergen. And uh, my controller has died again. I see, I keep on saying it's died. I'm just saying that it's not good at picking up the fact that there's a wire connected to it. Here's a... Ah, wait, what's that sticking at the top of my head? Ah, it's a wire. I'm going to unsee this. Welcome to Petalburg and... Eek! Oh, hide, everybody, hide! Hey, I'm only one of your kind. Hmm, <laughs> what a wuss. Yes, hi, chickens. I have no need to have... Do I have any of you? <sighs> what I do need to know is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowser, over there. Bingo! Princess Peach! Man, that was easy. I found you, my princess. I, Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, offer my greeting. Nothing. Alright, now, now, none of that silent treatment. You're coming in my castle with me. <laughs> Clearly she's so overcome with joy that she's been left speechless, Lord Bowser. The mind of a maiden. Oh. The mind of a maiden is real rather complicated. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> I see. I see how refined, how elegant, awesome. I suppose I could live with a silent princess and might even have its perks, you know. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. No! What do you mean, no? My life's treasure. I'd rather die than give you my life-size peach poster or my anime body pillow with Princess Peach in 4K. Yeah, he has a picture, a poster of Princess Peach inside, so I noticed that well, like a few episodes ago. Poster? Oh my goodness me, I didn't see that coming. Ugh, great. Just great. Now I look like the huge mighty king of guys who talks to posters. Oh, because of some f***ing weeb. 
who has Princess Peach as an anime body waifu. Anime body pillow waifu. Just because this guy is obsessed with Tomboy Outback Steakhouse. Or Femboy Hooters. Uh, thank you for everything you've done, Mario. We can go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son, that... You know, son, now that we get around down to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I do love pontificating, so come on by whenever you want to sit and chat for a while. Yes, please come back and visit. We'll watch for you. Well, I haven't had much to drink today, so that voice is really hard to do. That, uh... Ha <laughs> ha I'm Mickey Mouse. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like this from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the Crystal Stars. Oh, uh, this shan't be our last visit. Certainly not, but... Until then, ta-ta. T-T-Y-N, ta-ta, T-T-F-N, ta-ta for now. T-T-Y-D, the thousand year door. See you, Mr. Mario. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, God, I forgot. Mario's real name. Mario Mario. And they got Luigi Mario. First name, Mario. Second name, Mario. Okay. First name, Luigi. Luigi Luigi? No, Luigi Mario. Oh, mercy me, sounds like some mail. Mario, this is an absolute gem. If this video is out of sync one more time, I'm gonna fucking lose it. Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me, but please hurry up. But please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I other uncover anything, okay? You must know I miss you. Lately I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we'll, still, we'll spend carefree days there again soon. Isn't that precious, Mario? Okay, so let's quickly... <laughs> We're only half, around, half an hour in. What took me so long last time then? Was it because I didn't know what the hell I was doing? Actually, yeah, I, that would be a very likely scenario, knowing me. Let's kill these guys. Let's go. Oh god, it doesn't do anything. So we just gonna... Boom, let's go. Oh, f mm, 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 oh god. <laughs> let's try this again, shall we? Right, so down with down the pipe we go. And now we need to go to the thousand year door again. And the way we do that how do we do that? Um okay, if we slip through these bars. Oh yeah, there's a there's this. I can't remember what's in it though, I think it's a badge or an item. It's a chest. Ooh, I was wrong. Oh, happy, happy heart P. That's for your Mar one of Mario's partners. Okay, okay. So now we're here. Oh, and there's only thir there's um. What is it? The um eleventh, tenth of June. Damn it, it's the eleventh of June. I can never get the date right, can I? That's. It's Thursday the 11th of June, right. And there's only 36 more days until Paper Mario the Origami King. And I'm going to play it as soon as it comes out, and I'm going to record it, because... Hey, it's not bad. I want to be the one of the first people to record Paper Mario the Origami King. You never know, it might get millions of views. <laughs> as if. Now, my little Mario, it's Crystal Star time. Come on, Mario. We never got to the next place in the failed recording of the last part, because mainly I just messed about trying... Well, the reason I didn't get up there is because I have to do things to actually get up there. Okay. And by up there, I mean there. Where the golden crystal star is. 
A golden star. Now we can get more traditional golden colored star. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Oh, mercy me, the next crystal star has made my, an entrance. My, my, my. But correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it up in the sky? What does that mean? It means it's in the sky, Madam Flurry. That's what it means. It means it's really high up. There's going to be a very long staircase up there. You know, a stairway to heaven, you could say. That means that beneath this town, the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. Is it Critter Frankly talking? Yeah, I think it was. <sighs> and that door has been sealed shut for a thousand years by the Crystal Stars. In order to open that shield, I must I mean, have to muster the power of all the Crystal Stars. Perhaps I'm just daft, but why would they want to steal this treasure away at all? Did they fear thieves and brigands? If not, then what? That's, well, that's not, uh... Mm -hmm. what, that, what's not what? I don't know. Frankly, please. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I I know that a treasure was shielded away around the time, time the town was destroyed, but the problem is no one is even sure if it was called... What? 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 What it was that caused the Catan town's demise. Maybe it's because somebody didn't speak properly. And that, you know, everyone got so sick of him and it burnt the entire town down. And that's written, and all that's written is this. Darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more, assuming we'll just make an... Well, you know, we're we'll not saying. Oh yes, how inappropriate. In any case, what about the location of this crystal star that's floating up on the map. We'll never find out because my controller is dying. Very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitchville. There's been a stun there's a stunning arena there where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fight, but behind the scenes behind the scenes, the richest people in the world rage around the bouts. A floating city, you say. So we're just supposed to spout wings and fly there, darling. Do tell. You can float, for God's sake. You're a wind spirit. A special blimp fly flies there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. Problem is just getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Oh, that sounds exciting. A little on the seedy side. Show me the way. I, I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. Modern Street is all tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Head west from Rogueport's main plaza and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town is under the control of Don Pianta, the Pianta Syndicate head. Apparently, Don Pianta makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. Hmm, I like the sound of this Don Pianta fella. I cannot wait to meet him. It may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him might be difficult. Okay, so. So it's the west side of town. Oh, I forgot about this part as well. You got a problem? What are you looking at? Let you get business with me, scram. What? You want me to return the money I swindled? What are you, the fraud police? Sheesh, how to let myself get caught? Let's follow that guy first. If I remember correctly, he went down here. See, this time, this time it does, it takes less time. Because I, I have a vague memory of where he went. Cripes! The fraud police! You don't give up easy, do you? You can't make me pay! Oh, we can. We have our ways. Can we blow this down? Didn't think so. I think it's weird in Paper Mario, you can't... You can't hammer upwards or downwards. You can only hammer left or right. You know, left. Left or right. I, get, I think I just think it's weird. Because you can do that in Sticker Star and Color Splash and your Origami King. Very probably. So then he should 
be... There he is. <laughs> Cripes. The fraud police. Yuck. Oui. Shoot, you're serious. Fine, I'm a man. Do with me as you will. Hey, 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 hey. Looks like you caught him. Nice. Here's your reward. 20 coins. Thank you so much. So since it looks like you're all out of dough, I'll take it out of your height. Oh, no, please. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? You solve the trouble. Hmm, that noose is swinging. That doesn't seem very good. Maybe it has been used. Oh, hey, valued customer, your contact lens is in. Please drop by our shop. If you don't know, um, we broke someone's contact lens and we had to pre-order one, which then appears now. Well, it has to appear now. And now we get to give it back to the lady who we, whose contact lens we broke. And then she'll let us go into the west side of town. Did you bring my contact lens, Mr. Squishy? There you go. Contact lens, oh sweet relief, thank you. Finally, the world is crisp and clear again, and I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. Be careful from now on. People don't generally like having their stuff stomped on. Yeah. Okay, so. Right, right. That's a bit. That's a bit of a tall pipe. I'm just saying. I'm just re-saying things I remember I said, even though I know exactly why they happened now. The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you like that. To the Pianza Parlor. I actually don't really remember what I have to do here. Welcome to the parlor! Hey, 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 you're Mario, like the one and only. I know all about you, you're screwing Princess Peach's important work, but even heroes need relaxation. So what can I show you? You can trade in beyond as you've won for prizes, and some of our prizes can't be found anywhere else. Cake makes a super appeal. Get more star power when Mario appears. Oh. Refund. Refund some coins if you use an item in battle. A super shroom. Are these one? Are these two one-time uses or are they badges? Ah, oh, that's too bad. Come back if you decide to trade in for anything else. I am the Pianta Changer Changing Machine. I am called Pianta Changer. I exchange one Pianta for three coins. One to exchange. No, I've not actually played here before. Thank you very much. Come again. Try the slots. Why not? Do, do, do. Try the slots. Do, do, do. Oh, yes. Three Pianza slots. What is what is this? What is this? A score paper. The plane game. What's the plane game? Try the slots. Oof, close. Oof. There we go, you just gotta time it correctly. One, two, three. There you go. You can't just mash the buttons whenever you want, but why would why would I do that? Ooh. Ooh. Two sevens. One, two, three. It's the safest bet, but it's the slowest really, isn't it? What we need thirty four coins for one of those badges? Oh, come on. I'm not much of a gambling person. You better not have caused trouble. Um. Oh yeah, I remember. I've got to go to the east side of town for some reason. How do I? How? Do, I don't know how. In the original video, I remembered how to do that. I think it's just I talked to some NPCs in the east side of Rogueport. 
Hey, hey, this area is a turf of Ishnil and a robo band of thieves. The boss is usually hiding out in a back alley that few people can spot. And, uh... Oh, yeah. I remember now. It's back here. Hold oh, me. My name is Pierre. I'm what technically called a completely awesome thief. A cat? Don't mind hate cats. Oh, well, it's the other way around, but love-hate relationship. No, love... No, hate-hate relationship. What am I talking about? This isn't Tom and Jerry. I used to work as a geologist researching the rocks under town, but it paid nothing. That's when Ishnail, the boss of the robos, picked me up. I've since washed my hands of geology, and now I'm an amazing thief. Ha 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 ha. Basically, geology is just, uh, if, is it a rock? If yes, we're excited. Hey, please, please, uh, tell us what we have to do, hipster snail. You want something, chump? This is the fortress of the rabble thieves. You lost? Let's do a hipster voice. What business brings a chump like, turns a chump like you to a place like this? Say it ain't vacation. Was that? You want to meet that lying, cheating, stealing, no good, jerky for brains, dumb pianza? Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all about that and you still want us to tell you how you can make that crumb? Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins. And no budging on the price, not a single coin inside, and if it was pricey, them's the rules. Y y you'll pay? Really? Yeah, you heard me. Have the money. There you go, 64 coins. Oh, yes! I mean, uh, good call. You're a shrewd businessman. 64 coins on the nose. Very good indeed. Okay, then, clean those ears out and listen here. Listen very closely. There's parlor in the west part of town that's run by that worm Don Pianza. Go to the store next to the parlor. Buy a dried shroom and a dizzy dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dried shroom, dizzy dial. You got that? Do you do that and the shopkeeper's gonna ask you what your favorite color is? You answer yellow. You got that? Not green, not blue. Yellow. You hear me? You see, yellow is a password for getting into dumb scumbags oh so comfy office. You got all that? Yeah. So dried shroom, dizzy dial, yellow. Maybe there's something we should do first. Let's see if there's any more people we can help. I need a key safe delivery price adjustment. Hit me, please. Help my daddy! Pinty Jr. Oh, yeah, they have a lot of these names, like Plenty. They're even worse than the first game. They had Dainty, t a small toad. He had Tasty, who cooks. But plenty. That's just taking the mick. Arf, Arthur. Arthur. Why? Why with the? Why the neff? Not a th. Why? Why is this? Magoomba. This is Magoomba. I have a simple task. I need to have something delivered. Fortunately, for reasons I won't mention, I can't be seen walking around Roadport. Mean behind Zesty's house in Roadport Classic. Uh, sure. Who the hell is Zesty? It's in the plaza, so at least it, you know, makes it easier to know where the hell we're going. Zesty. Zest. Oh, um. So my guess is Zesty. Is this Goomba? You never know who'll be watching. Let's do this thing quick. Take this package to Goomfree. You'll find him in front of Professor Franklin's place. I try not to be seen. We got a box, okay. Try not to be seen. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. He can't see us. He can't see us. We're invisible. I do not see him. He does not see me. Therefore, nothing is here. So is this guy. The package. Yeah, that's it. I'll dispose of this in a way no one will ever find it. Tell me Goomba had said so. Do me a favor. Forget all this. You hear me? It never happened for your sake. We never spoke. Forget everything. And when you give M M Goomba my message, he'll give you your compensation. Remember, this deal won't be done until you give my message to McGoomba. 
he's gonna be missing, isn't he? Because this is way too easy. He is like gonna be kidnapped or something. And because he looked like every other Goomba with a green hat, it's gonna be hard. Oh, he's still here. What a surprise. Did you deliver it? Phew. Save my neck, buddy. I almost forgot your compensation. You save my neck, you get something good. 20 coins, surprisingly. I didn't expect it to be that easy. Right, so... 10 minutes left. So... Oh, I just want to show you guys something. Hee 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 hoo hoo. Now, I have no idea if we actually have to go here or not. I have no idea if this is a essential place of going to, but it probably, very probably is, because there's a save blocker there. Right, so, and that's why there's a tall pipe there, if you did not realize. Oh, this, this lottery, by the way, it's the happy go- why is it the happy- the, the happy lucky lottery, lucky lottery board. It is a scam. It is a literal scam. You have to, like, buy a ticket every day for a year to get the actual first prize. And the way it works is it's not, you know... Let's say that the prize number is 2555 and you get 2554. It's not like, oh, I got the first three numbers right. Nope, it starts from the... Starts from the end. So you get nothing because the four and five do not match. The last numbers don't match. It is literally a scam. If you want more information, watch Strider X Strider 7X's video on it. He knows everything about crashing Paper Mario because that game crashes a lot. Hi there, cutie. Welcome to West Side Goods. Welcome to Femboy Hooters. What can I do for you? Oh, I'm just here to buy something. Ooh, I don't know. What should we buy? I don't know. A dried shroom. It's gonna be tw two coins for that dry shroom. Care to buy a cutie? Hey, Sweden looks like you can't carry any anymore. Oh, God's sake. I can't carry any more items there, cutie. You gotta empty something out there, cutie. I'm not getting rid of the ocean shroom. Can't I throw something away? Let's drink this. Oh, I love drinking just. Do I have to have the dried shroom? Do I have to have the dried shroom? Because, theoretically, I could just get the dried shroom, eat it, and then buy the dizzy dial. You know, I'm making a save... Wait, no, I'm not, let's not make a save state in case this footage doesn't work either. So what I'm going to do is we go down this grate, use the public save box. Yes, I called it a public save box. Don't hate me. We go back to the shop... And if this plan doesn't work, we can just go from the start. So then we eat the dried shroom. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is so delicious. We might as well be in a brain stem. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, here we go. All right, mister. What color's your mustache? What color's your mustache? I know what color. What is your favorite color, but what color's your mustache? Mario's moustache is quite dark, so it could be, you know, it could be black, but it's not that dark, is it? It's like, no, it can't be, because his hair and moustache are a different colour, aren't they? Yeah, his moustache is much darker. But is Paper Mario's moustache much darker? Well, I can't see Paper Mario's moustache right now, there's a text box over it. So what do we do? It must be yellow. It's the only option we have. I'm going with yellow. C. Let's go. Oops, so what's wrong with me? <laughs> Whoopsie doodle! That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. <clears throat> okay, mister, what's your favorite color? Oh, my favorite color is, uh... Uh... <laughs> it's, uh... It's green. No, wait. It's yellow. Uh-uh. Well, you check out, you know the password. So, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. Indeed we are. Now we have four and a half minutes before we hit the, hit the one hour mark. 
It can go through the door, go on and help yourself. So that means we have enough time for this cutscene before we hit the one-hour mark. Why am I so adamant about not hitting the one-hour mark? Hey, what's with you, wise guy? I had too jolly today. You've got beef spitted out or quick. This is gonna hurt. Hello, it's me, Mario. You remember, I went to your island, and then I made it all dirty, and then I cleaned it up again. Actually, no, that's not what happened. That's what you thought happened. What happened is that somebody disguised as me, you were too dumb enough to realize it, and I had to clean up your sh when I was on vacation. Do you recognize me now? Excuse me? You want... You want to give... We, we, you want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See now, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No, you ought to be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Dom Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You... You want I should uh, run this bum out on the rail, boss? Look at him. What a rube. You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? If that ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up, you got it? So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. I just wanted to see a fight, okay? What's that you want to... Uh, you want to help yourself some... You want to help some broad who got... What got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this damn you got a... Uh, you're on a... Uh, yeah. And to rescue this damn you're out collecting the crystal stars. The crystal stars? Hey, Buzz, ain't those things in that legend about the ancient treasure? Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey, Buzz, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Bite your tongue. Don't listen to that loud. The treasure is as real as I am. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not. Get me? But I tell you, I can't help but, uh, like, a, I can't help but, like a guy who wants to rescue some skirty fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor and do get the blimp ticket. Sounds fair? I'm not entirely sure I like the sound of this. It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. You see, the thing is, <laughs> my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long before that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You got to find my daughter Francesca and this Frankie and bring them both here. And if you're unable to find them, then all you got to do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly and with it and and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know anything about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Finn is right. Leave it to us if I'm Francesca. Quiet, you. It's cause you lurks can't find out that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope your dupes ain't making complaints about my decision. You're making complaints? Uh, no, boss. You, whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again. Uh, you're the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled then, yeah? Find my daughter and a friend, then come to see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. Oh, God. I didn't realize my controller was at the edge of the table. You know those uh, dream. you know, when you're trying to fall asleep and suddenly it feels like you're falling? And that's what it was like for the controller. I'm sorry. That's what you get. And just so that we're clear, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Okay, so we have not hit the one hour mark yet. Quick, 40 seconds. 30 seconds. 20 seconds. We gotta hurry up. <laughs> Save luck. got 10 seconds anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video i certainly did um if you want to watch any other videos you are free to do so anyways like subscribe peace one second to